And one day, this is this is where I talk about the God moments in our lives. Um, the superintendent and his cabinet ate lunch, and it was a private lunch. And Mrs. Labowitz had a way of chauffeuring us through every single station to give us real life experience. And I happened to be on the entree line that day. And I made chicken Kiev, rice pilaf, and I made carrots. I, I just remember this, this dish for the rest of my life. And I presented it on the plate very well. <clears throat> and Mrs. Labowitz came from out of the dining room. Who's on entree? She's yelling and screaming. And I'm like, I actually didn't do nothing this time. I actually did what I was supposed <laughs> to do. And she pulled me in the office. And she goes, hey, baby, where have you been? Like, you can do this? I didn't know you had this. And I, I began to tell her my life story about growing up in the projects and just how hard life was and public housing. And I says, you don't know my story. I says, none of my brothers have graduated from high school. My mother didn't graduate from high school. My father didn't graduate. I'm on course to be the first person in my family to graduate from high school. And she's like, Steve, you know, you can go to college. And I said, who paying for college, woman? <laughs> and she says, Steve, I'm going to make a deal with you. If you give me your all, I'll give you my all. And we shook hands in her office in high school. And I began to sit in front of the class and I began to apply myself. And the leader came out. And when people began to over talk her or whatever, I'm like, yo, chill, Mrs. Lab is talking. And so that's, that became the um, that became the exodus into my new genesis. And so <clears throat> I never forget that she would just bring me papers just to sign. And lo and behold, Mrs. Labowitz was filling out scholarships for me. And she was calling colleges saying, I got this amazing culinarian you guys need to see. And like schools are flying in to come see me and meet me. And I'm getting all these award letters and I didn't apply for any of them. And she would just send stuff to home and say, tell your dad to sign this. And I'll be like, but then she, so that, that I say all of that to say that Mrs. Labowitz saw something in me that I didn't see in myself and made it her mission to make sure that I became the fullness of God, what God intended. And so that took me to going to culinary school, to going to the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel to work for a certified master chef in Chris Madison who I owe my life to, to from there being in contract management for over 20 years, to food network ex experiences, to this. And it's all because of a woman in high school who saw something in me and made it her life's mission.